Welcome to Intro to Music Production with Reason. There are a lot of digital audio workstations out there, but Reason happens to be my favorite for many reasons. My name is Ben Thornburg, and I've been using Reason almost as long as it's been available. And I've also been teaching with it for over a decade. So right now, I just want to give you a quick overview of how Reason works. We're just going to create a really quick song by going through a bunch of little things. I'm going to start with a basic beat using the Redrum drum machine. So I'm going to drag that right into the rack. And I'm going to pull up the house kit here. I'm going to start with a really basic four on the floor kind of beat. Got a little bit of variety in our hi-hat. Now I'm going to take this pattern and move it to pattern A2. Vary it up a little bit. One more pattern. All right, that'll work. So now I'm going to take these three patterns and switch between them as I record. And Reason's going to remember all that stuff down here. So I'm going to start with pattern A1. There we go. We've got a nice A bar loop already. Sometimes you don't feel like programming your own drums. So if you just want to use a drum loop that's already pre-built, you can use the Dr. Octorex loop player. Drag that in right there. And I'm going to layer this on top of my existing drum. So I want something more percussive rather than a full kit. Now I could automate switching between the loops that are available here, but we're just going to leave the default, the first one in here, to add a little bit of flavor. So together, they sound like this. Not a bad start. Reason has three great synthesizers that are built into it. First, we're going to talk about the subtractor. I'm going to pick one of these preset bass patches. And then I'm going to record something just by playing it in. I'm also going to turn on a pre-count. And a, uh, I don't need the click because I have drums. But I need one measure to get ready for it. My performance needs just a little bit of cleaning up, so I can go down in the sequencer and open up my note information here. I'm actually going to maximize this here and zoom out a little bit. I can go in and move the notes around. Actually, here's a couple stray ones that shouldn't have been there. I'm going to delete those, but I can also highlight everything else that I do want after cleaning up these notes. And I can quantize it. And that just snaps each note to the closest beat, or in this case, 16th notes. Now this does make it sound kind of robotic, but 
that is what I'm going for right now. So if you do want something to make a more human sound, but still move it to a near beat, you can do that as well, which we'll talk about later. But we're going to keep things more EDM for now. Let's start looking at some effects. I really like the bass sound I have going on here, but it needs some distortion. So I'm going to add a pulverizer to it. This unit actually adds compression and distortion, so it can take this plain bass patch and add some nice warmth and texture to it. There we go. Now for some synth pad. For some nice synth pad, I'm gonna use the Malstrom. This synth can produce more complex sounds than the Subtractor, so it'll work really nice for a pad sound. Well, let's pull one in from the browser here. That's pretty fun, but one of my favorite things to do is to use the alligator filter gate. This is going to split the synth into low, mid, and high bands, and then it gates them by turning them off and on individually in a particular rhythm. Let's find a nice one. The most complex synth in Reason is definitely the Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Let's pull one of those in here. It doesn't look like much at first, but if we hit the Show Programmer button, it gets a lot more complicated. I'm going to start from scratch. In this course, we'll get into how synthesizers work so that you can program your own patches. I'm just going to put one together really quick in this video. So those are the synthesizers, but what if we want a more realistic sound? Samplers play back recorded sounds, and Reason's NNXT sampler is capable of layering some really realistic stuff. So let's go find an NNXT and put in a piano patch. It's not bad, but it could be a lot better. This is a pretty basic piano patch. You can look at all the original recordings that make up this piano. Some of the notes are stretched across several pitches. You can also see that these recordings, there are recordings that make up the quieter hits, and then there's some that make up the louder ones. By using more individual recordings at a variety of velocities, you can achieve some very realistic sounds. I've personally invested in a few additional sound packs, including Reason Pianos, so I'm going to pull one of those up now. This patch is saved as a combinator, which is a device that combines any combination of other devices together. You can see that this device 
is made up of five different NNXT devices, each with their own envelope filter, EQ, and mini mixer. Each of these is a separate microphone used to sample the piano in the studio. These are all fed through a compressor, EQ, and reverb. The combinator's controls have been mapped to the most useful controls of all the devices. Don't worry, we'll cover all this later. For now, just understand that Reason can handle extremely complex sampled instruments. Okay, it's time to record some vocals. I'm going to add an audio track, check my level, and record a quick take. That'll work. I personally enjoy some auto-tune, so I'm going to run this through auto-tune real quick. Then I just need to set my key. And just some things. May I introduce you to music production with reason. Our instruments are all set. What's left? Oh yeah, the mixer. Every channel has its own input section, compressor, gate, EQ, insert effect, auxiliary sends, and a fader section. Not only that, but if I add a track for any one of these faders, I can automate it. When we're done, we can export the whole song or just a loop of the song. And that's our overview of Reason. Now join me for the rest of the course and we'll get into the details. May I introduce you to music production with Reason. 